Welcome to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, a world of beards, snow and woolly mammoths. The game takes place 200 years after Oblivion, which ended, spoilers, with the end of the Septim dynasty. Since then, the empire that held everything together has begun to collapse and Skyrim is in a state of turmoil. Hurry up and invent guns, people! That's sure to make things better. In a move away from the air-hacking swordplay of previous games, Skyrim features dynamic combat including finishing moves, unique weapon attacks and ambidextrous dual wielding. You'll be able to forge your own weapons. Have a hot sword, you damn troll! Like many of the Elder Scrolls games, it's all about prophecies, destiny and most importantly, making bad things dead. Events from previous Elder Scrolls games have led to the return of Aladdin, a world-eating dragon ready to belch out some red-hot death all over the inhabitants of Tamriel. Luckily, there's also a prophecy of a dragonborn hero destined to mess him up. Who might that be then? Well, it's you, obviously. The world sounds more dynamic than ever before. NPCs will respond to everything you do and the forced close-up face cams of Oblivion have been dropped. The massive cities also allow you to perform trade skills like farming and woodcutting. More than ever, the game will actually feel alive. Until the population is wiped out by dragons, that is. In Elder Scrolls lore, Skyrim is the northernmost province of Tamriel, a geographically diverse land of mountain, snow and calming pine forests. The game engine is shiny new and boasts realistic effects such as running water that responds to the wind and dynamic snow. We're so hot for dynamic snow. It wouldn't be an Elder Scrolls game if it didn't have corpse infested dungeons to explore and the Nordic influence means that Skyrim will have bloody barrowfuls of them. Fill your boots with bone meal, skeleton fans. Like Bethesda's post-nuclear soap opera Fallout 3, Skyrim will feature character perks on top of the 18 standard skills you've been able to choose from. Character classes have been removed, but your choices will be as unrestricted as ever. Anyone that played Oblivion will remember The Blades, a secretive organisation dedicated to serving the Emperor and protecting Tamriel. Despite the Septims being all deaded, the Blades have endured and your character has been trained by the last living member of their order so that you might save Tamriel from the impending dragon apocalypse. The ten traditional races from the previous games are returning but this time out you'll also be able to edit body types as well as faces. The most important news though is that beards are in. You can't have a Viking simulator without a hefty slice of beard. Not included in this screenshot, any beards. Here's a statue of moody-looking Talos, the legendary god hero of the Elder Scrolls games. The original Talos was a Nord who became Tiber Septim, the first Emperor of Tamriel. We bet our lucky coin that something similar happens in Skyrim when it draws swords in November. <laughs>